please stand and face the back of the cathedral for our solemn entrance into our liturgy. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. In the waters of baptism, Miroslav and Lubusha died with Christ, and may they now rise with him to eternal glory. At their baptism, they were clothed in a white garment, the outward sign of their Christian dignity. We now place these white palls on their caskets as a reminder of that dignity in Christ. Please join in singing our opening hymn, Be Not Afraid. shall cross the barren deserts, but you shall not die of thirst. You shall wander far in safety, though you do not know the way. You shall speak your words in foreign lands, and all will understand. Shall see the face of God and live. Be not afraid. I go before you always. Come, follow me, and I will give you. If you pass through raging waters in the sea, you shall not drown. If you walk amid the burning flames, you shall not be harmed. If you stand before the powers of hell and death is at your side, that I am with you through it all. Be not afraid. I go before you always. Come, follow me, and I will give you Blessed are your poor, for the kingdom shall be theirs. Blessed are you that weep and mourn, for one day you shall laugh. 
And if wicked tongues insult and hate you all because of me, blessed, blessed are you. Be not afraid. I go before you. Welcome. We begin today recognizing the pain of loss, the sadness of saying goodbye. And we also acknowledge that together, Libusha and Miroslav walked through life, raised their family, and now we gather together to say farewell to them, but only for a time. And so we recognize the blessings received through their life and through their love and we place our trust in God. Let us pray. Lord God, giver of all that is true and lovely and gracious, you created in marriage a sign of your covenant. Look with mercy upon Miroslav and Labusha. You bless them in their companionship, and in their joys and sorrows you bound them together. Lead them into eternal peace and bring them to the table where the saints feast together in your heavenly home. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I invite you all to be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all people a feast of rich food and choice wines, juicy, rich food and pure, choice wines. On this mountain, he will destroy the veil that veils all peoples. The web that is woven over all nations, he will destroy forever. He will destroy death forever. The Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces the reproach of his people he will remove from the whole earth, for the Lord has spoken. On that day it will be said, Behold our God, to whom we look to save us. This is the Lord for whom we looked. Let us rejoice and be glad that he has saved us. The word of the Lord. Put me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. God is my shepherd, so nothing shall I want. I rest in the meadows of faithfulness and love. I walk by the quiet waters of peace. Gently you raise me and heal my weary soul. You lead me by pathways of righteousness and truth. My spirit shall sing the music of your name. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, 
from death into life. Though I should wander the valley of death, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. Your rod and your staff, my comfort and my hope. You have set me a banquet of love in the face of hatred, crowning me with love beyond my power to hold. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. Surely your kindness and mercy follow me, all the days of my life. I will dwell in the house of my God forevermore. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We do not want you to be unaware, brothers, about those who have fallen asleep, so that you may not grieve like the rest who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose, so too will God, through Jesus, bring him those who have fallen asleep. Indeed, we tell you this on the word of the Lord, that we who are alive who are left until the coming of the Lord, will surely not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself, with a word of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, will come down from heaven, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, console one another with these words. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. 
Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So if you know much about Indiana, you know that there is an overabundance of good basketball players that come out of Indiana. In fact, there's a joke that when children are born in the state of Indiana, that in the hospital, as they deliver them, they put a basketball in their hands. Now, the same could be true of Prague. You know, Prague is so filled with amazing music, and it seems that Prague itself just generates all these incredible musicians. And so it could easily be said that when children are born in the city of Prague, that they put a violin in their hands because it just seems to be a natural gift that comes out of that city. And sometimes people wonder, you know, why, why is Prague such an amazing city for music? Is it the Slivovica that inspires all these musicians? But that's not really the answer. What I think inspires all of these great musicians from Prague is the beauty of what surrounds them. Not only the city, but also the countryside is such an amazingly beautiful place. And sometimes we forget to recognize the importance of beauty in our lives. You know, we can go along and become very functional and focused on the tasks that we have at hand. But beauty is one of those things that connects us to God. And that's why I think for both Lubusha and for Miroslav, beauty was something that was always an important part of their lives, not only with music, but with art, with traveling around the world to see everything they could possibly see. Because no matter how much they took in of beauty, there was always that desire to experience more. Well, that speaks to us in our scriptures today too, because the first reading talks about this beautiful mountain. Isaiah has this vision of a beautiful mountain where this amazing feast is prepared for us. And you can't have a feast without good music. And so I'm sure that there's probably Dvorak playing in the background, as well as other music that would just fill us with joy. Now, the other thing that I think we can say is absolutely true of this amazing couple is that they always pursued the truth. In their lives, they not only were academics, they not only were brilliant people, but they always wanted to know the truth. They always wanted to see where the truth would lead them. And that also is one of those things we call a transcendental, that whenever we seek truth or goodness or beauty, we're actually seeking God. We're actually implicitly reaching out to what is eternal, to what is divine. And so today we gather together to, one, thank God for the gift of this beautiful couple, to thank God for the joys and the sorrows they had to experience in this life, to thank God for the way that they have each shown to us some of those transcendental things in life, truth, goodness, and beauty. And because of that, as we mourn their passing, we know that we have two emotions at the same time. We have tremendous sadness, and I can't imagine how difficult it has been for your family to experience the loss of both of them so close together. And at the same time, we have this sense of joy that builds recognizing that everything they experienced in this life was only a foretaste of what they experience in fullness now. That everything they pursued in truth, in goodness, and in beauty, that they now have the complete, true, good, and beautiful that surrounds them all the time. And so today, 
We pray with you and for you as you struggle through this time of grief. We also pray that God will help us to recognize those gifts we've received through their hands and through their lives, and to also give thanks back to God for those things that do remind us of God's beauty, God's truth, and God's goodness to each of us. Let us stand together. My brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father where he intercedes for his church. Confident that God hears the voices of those who trust in the Lord Jesus, we join our prayers to his. In baptism, Labusha and Miroslav received the light of Christ. Scatter the darkness now and lead them over the waters of death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Our sister Lubusha and brother Miroslav were nourished at the table of the Savior. Welcome them in the halls of the heavenly banquet. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Many friends and members of our family have gone before us and await the kingdom. Grant them an everlasting home with your son. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Those who trusted in the Lord now sleep in the Lord. Give refreshment, rest, and peace to all whose faith is known to you alone. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the family and friends of Labusha and Miroslav, that they may be consoled in their grief by the Lord, who wept at the death of his friend Lazarus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We are assembled here in faith and confidence to pray for Labusha and Miroslav. Strengthen our hope that we may live in ex expectation of your son's coming. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, giver of peace and healer of souls, Hear the prayers of the Redeemer Jesus Christ and the voices of your people. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ and grant them a place in the kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite you now to be seated as we prepare the altar. As the altar is prepared, we sing on eagle's wings. shelter of the Lord who abide in his shadow for life. Say to the Lord, my refuge, my rock in whom I trust, and he will raise you up on eagle's wings. There you on the breath of dawn, make you to shine like the sun, and hold you in the palm of his hand. You need not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Though thousands fall about you, near you it shall not come, and he will raise you up on eagle's wings. There you 
Make your toes shine like the sun and hold you in the palm of his hand. For to his angels he's given a command to guard you in all of your ways. Upon their hands they will bear you up lest you dash your foot against a stone. And he will raise you up on eagle's wings, bear you on the breath of dawn, make you to shine like the sun, and hold you in the palm of his hand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, may the, the Lord accept, accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Be near, O Lord, we pray to your servants on whose funeral day we offer you this sacrifice of conciliation, so that should any stain of sin have clung to them or any human fault affected them, it may by your loving gift be forgiven and wiped away through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, 
and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Richard, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servants Miroslav and Lubusha, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. stand
together as we pray in the words Jesus taught us. Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And And with with your your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. invite you to kneel or be seated. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am am not not worthy worthy that that you should should enter under under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. I invite those not receiving communion and those joining by live stream to enter into a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us stand together and pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your servants, Miroslav and Labusha, who today have journeyed from this world, may by this sacrifice be cleansed and freed from sin and so receive the everlasting joys of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen invite you to be seated and I'd ask uh, their daughter Yvonne to come forward and share some remarks on behalf of the family. Thank you all for joining us today. Our parents were very special. <laughs> when writing their obituaries, we be began to realize how much they had both accomplished in their lifetimes and how they were never boastful, 
nor drew attention to themselves and what they had achieved. Their focus was on others. They were humble people. They were Mama and Tata, Bobby and Jetta. Our parents always wanted their home to be welcoming. Friends and family coming together over a delicious Czech meal and desserts made by our mom. An unusual fruit our dad grew in the garden and wine that he made himself. They really enjoyed the company of others, sitting down with one another and sharing stories. I'll never forget our grandfather telling me how, even as a child, if our mother received a gift, she would always ask if her siblings did too, because she didn't want anyone to be left out. I remember how thoughtful she was with her gifts to us, even the little things, like Annie's mac and cheese and a pair of leggings I wear daily around the house. She truly knew what would bring us some joy. I remember coming across our mother's PhD thesis, not realizing that she had dedicated it to her children. When our father became ill with Alzheimer's disease, our mother was devoted to him. She lovingly cared for him and made certain that his last years would be important and meaningful because she loved him, because she enjoyed being with him and caring for him, even when it was really hard and she struggled with her own illness. I remember our father telling me that after school, if he had free time, he would go watch the violin maker and the symphony orchestra play at the theater in Prague. He learned how to make violins. And I remember him telling me how happy he was when he had the opportunity for a famous musician to play one of the violins that he had made. He made a special violin for me and for my brother. He so enjoyed watching his children and grandchildren play their musical instruments. Even in his last years, our mother would take him to concerts, and when he could no longer go, she brought the concerts and musicians to him. Our parents really knew how to comfort us during important times. They gave us great advice and guidance especially when struggling with difficult questions and decisions in life. They gave us comfort and peace, and we just knew it would be okay. We will always be grateful to them for their love, their kindness, and the tremendous opportunities they worked so hard to provide for us. They taught us the importance of hard work, honesty, and humility. They were generous and giving. Above all, they taught us the importance of family, to love one another, to be kind, and to help one another, especially those in need. And in doing so, in good faith, to serve and honor the Lord. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother and sister. May our farewell express our affection for them. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet them again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. In Mm-hmm. 
Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend Miroslav and Labusha in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, they will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon them in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servants and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and our brother and sister forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace as we take our brother, brother and sister to their place of rest. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. We go forth from our liturgy by singing the prayer of St. Francis. Make me a channel of your peace Where there is hatred, let me bring your love Where there is injury or pardon, Lord And where there's doubt, true faith in Make me a channel of your peace. Where there's despair in life, let me bring hope. Where there is darkness, only light. And where there's sadness, ever joy. to grant that I may never seek so much to be consoled as to console to be understood as to understand to be loved as to love with all my soul Make me a channel of your peace. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned, in giving of ourselves that we receive, and in dying that we're born to eternal 